Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to a suggestion video featuring Team No Stall. This was suggested to me by Roan Cox. Thank you very much for your suggestion. I really do appreciate it. And if any of you would like to suggest something yourself, the information is down in the description below on how to do so, along with the information on how to request something on your birthday. So let's jump right into your view of Team No Stall. If you're not aware, this is one of the Piston Cup teams and they are of course background characters. They did not get much screen time, if any at all, and definitely didn't get any speaking lines. So let's just get to know the characters real quick. Of course, these are all representing the company no stall that's their sponsor but the actual name of the racer itself here is todd marcus and he's been released several times since the first cars movie was released and i believe his most recent release was in 2014 in the piston cup series we have on the right here roman dunes who is no stall's crew chief and he has not been released in a while but i believe he was in some three packs with the pity and the racer back in 2008 2009 and he might have been in an easter egg but i'm not entirely sure i believe some of the crew chiefs were in easter eggs like the shiny wax and the spearmint crew chief but i'm not sure if no stall crew chief was so i believe this is one of the more harder to find crew chiefs as he did not get many releases also, on the left here, we have Stacy, who is one of the no stall pities. Now, a very nice pity, although was only released when Roman Dunes was, because they were all in a three pack together, I believe, in 2008 and 2009. Again, I'm not sure if Roman Dunes got another re release, but if he did, it probably wasn't with Stacy. So I believe Stacy only got two releases over two years. So definitely, it's possible to get a release, a re release of any of these guys. I would not expect to see No Stall back for a while because he was just re released last year. Now we have the Hauler back here and he was not given a name except for No Stall Hauler and he was only released I believe in 2009 in the Racerama series theme whatever you like to call it. I remember that was one of my first haulers actually and that's really when they started making them. And now if you guys didn't notice already this is not a complete team for the Piston Cup because if you've seen some of my previous videos such as the bumper save team there's a lot more members of the team. There's like two more pities, maybe even an additional member, but Mattel did not finish all the teams. They may have started a few, didn't finish, and they definitely did not even give a team member to every racer. They did, however, release every racer, and I know I'm giving you guys some basic knowledge, but if there's anybody out there that is not aware of this, this is who that's for. So that's basically it on the basic knowledge. Team No Stall did not get that many members. As you can see, we got four members, and that is it. So let's start with the racer and we'll start reviewing him. Here we have Todd Marcus No Stall himself. Now if you guys aren't already aware, there are three main bodies for the Piston Cup racer. One that is based off of Leakless, RPM, and Nitroid. Now this one is the Nitroid body and I believe was the second or third version of Nitroid's body to ever be released. He was released a long time ago, so he was always kind of known as one of the more original and I guess you could say even more well-known characters. Now he is one of the highest numbers in the Piston Cup as it's being one, two, three. Now there are some other numbers in the hundreds. I'm not sure if his is the highest, but it is pretty high. You can see there's the logo for the company, No Stall right there. He's got his number on the top. We also have another No Stall logo go there. Also on the back we got some checkerboard stripes going along that which is nice. Also over here it looks really good detailing. I love kind of the white design. Just looks great and he's got some of the generic sponsors of other Piston Cup sponsors or racers I guess you could say. He's got black rims with the light year tires. Very nice. He does have raised eyelids at least on my version because it's one of the older ones. Most likely if you were to buy one of the new versions which would probably the 2014 version he would have flat eyelids here meaning that it wouldn't be a raise there would be no depth in between this white portion here and the red eyebrow there would be no difference it'd be completely flat and uh, a lot of people don't like that i don't really mind myself 
I like him a lot. He's one of my favorite Piston Cup racers. I just kind of like his design. He also has kind of a small mustache thing here, which looks pretty nice. So that's basically it for Todd Marcus No Stall. I'm sure you guys have all seen him before. So let's move on to Roman Dunes, who is No Stall's crew chief. Now, again, he has the No Stall logo with the checkerboard stripe on his hood there. Basic expression, not too exciting. He's just kind of yelling into his microphone, probably, or headset to talk to No Stall. Now, I don't know why mine's a little bent out of shape. It should be more like that, but mine's kind of straight out in front. He's got some nice red rims, which are nice. Again, no stall logo on both sides. And it's just kind of a plain car, just like a regular sedan. He does have a nice detailed license plate, though, which reads 13B-19. And he is the same model as Official Tom, Race Official Tom here. Now, a lot of crew chiefs were based off of Race Official Tom, such as Shiny Waxes, we also have Spearmans, and of course, no stalls here. So that's kind of what they're known as, just the Race Official Tom Crew Chief. So, they're basically, yeah, the same model. They do have different license plates, though, which is nice that they differentiate the two. Mattel tends to put the same license plate on same models because they're using the same mold, and it's just unfortunate that they do so. So that's basically it for Roman Dunes. He's not my favorite crew chief because he's pretty basic. Now let's move on to the pity here called Stacy. Now, not sure if this is a male or female, but judging that the eyebrows are more male-like, I'm going to assume that Stacy is a male because Stacy could be a male or a female name. Now again, we got the No Stall logo on both sides of him on the top as well. And he's got the nice white rims there, which is pretty cool. Each of these teams have different color rims. Black, we have red, and we have white. So that's really cool. Makes up the three, the team's three main colors. And it just looks very nice. And well, not my favorite pity. I would like if they create a toolbox. But since that these released in a three-pack together, they were released in a vertical three-pack and a horizontal three-pack. Stacy did not come with tires or a tool chest and if you guys don't know what those are It's essentially just a plastic tire that are two stacks or two tires stacked atop each other like these here And then a small tire chest. I'm sure I have many videos on my channel showing that I believe the Tanko Pity had one So that video will be down in the description below if you want to check it out So that's basically it for no stall pity here, which is Stacy now Let's move on to the hauler, which is probably the most desirable out of all the team no stall the whole team no stall now i believe a semi for team no stall or the no stall semi was released separately as well but i do not have him i just have the one from the hauler here i love his expression looks very nice i mean probably not the happiest but at least they gave him some character he's definitely worried or sad he's got the no stall logo on the top here the number on the side one two three and one two three there now on the sides here we got the number again a no stall with the checkerboard stripe some nice fading gradient coloring right there which looks pretty good on the back we basically got the same decals only added racing and then some tail lights there he does have a license plate but it's very small we will be able to read it better when we actually look at the license plate on the semi same de decals on the hauler here now if you take or detach the hauler you can see just now the semi and the license plate actually reads w0987 he's got the no stall logo on his mud flaps which is a great detail and there's the hitch that attaches the hauler to the semi so very nice detailing of course this is the only part that's metal unfortunately the hauler itself is not metal now this opens from the side so not the most realistic because usually it opens from the back but a very nice display if you want to display them now actually it opens up this way you can slide out this platform fold out this little ramp here and then there are these two support things that you could flip down and uh they're really hard to kind of do this sometimes because they're so tight and you really have to, I don't know, you have to be doing this a lot so the plastic doesn't kind of get, I'm not really sure what to call it, but uh, it just kind of gets stiff, I guess you could say. So you could fold that down like that. Unfortunately, this one does not want to fold down right now. But just kind of to show you guys, you could drive your racer up the ramp here and you could go into the hauler like that. Now, if you actually want to seal them up, you would have to fold this back in, fold the ramp back in, put him in, and then slide the platform back in let me just slide him in slide this in first and then put 
Todd Marcus in there. So it looks pretty nice, a great display. Now I do like the way that some, these could be displayed if you want to have like the whole team facing out by pulling this platform out. It does look pretty nice, but uh, I definitely think that would probably be better if there was a larger team for no stall. Now on the inside here, there's nothing really too special. We just get a tire inflator and um, a tool chest there with some wrenches on there. Nothing too special. These are the same as mostly every other semi. Actually, all the piston cup haulers. And uh, there were, of course, some different haulers released, but um, all the piston cup haulers are like that. So that is it for Team No Stall. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Thank you, Rowan Cox, for the suggestion. I hope the video lived up to what you'd hoped it'd be. And I'll see you guys on Tuesday for a review of Circus Pickup. I'm very excited to open that one up and complete my Super Chase Circus Cars collection. So thank you guys again for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys Tuesday. Bye now.